First, the senior pairs competition. Can you possibly imagine what it would be like to fly through the air balanced on your partner's hand? How does it feel to be, okay, don't do it. This is not something you wanna do at home. How would it feel to be thrown five feet in the air, 15 feet across the ice? And you do it all traveling at full speed, landing on one tiny little bit of steel. These are the skaters who I think display some of the proudest moments in our sport. They take risk, they do, they do it with daring, and all the while making us feel as if we're witnessing something very special. Our senior Canadian pair champions for 2009, may I present Jessica Dubé and Bryce. Dubé. In second place, and also representing the province of Quebec, Quebec section, may I present Megan Duhamel and Craig Bunton. These are the silver medalists, Megan Duhamel and Craig Bunton. Bronze medalists, Mylène Brodeur and John Matatal. Presenting tonight's medals, we have the rare pleasure of welcoming the new Minister of State for Sport, the Honorable Gary Lund, along with the 1955 World Pair Champion from Canada, Francis Defoe. <laughs> Offering congratulations from BMO Bank of Montreal, Ken Segbor, and our president, Benoit Lavoie. In the pairs, pair champions Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, in fact, were in second in the short program. Came through with an outstanding performance in the free to take the gold. We have three pairs heading to both the ISU Four Continents Championships next month in Vancouver and the World Championships in March in Los Angeles. The three teams that you see here, actually the first two teams, Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, and Megan DeHamel and Craig Bunton have been named to both those teams. Mylène Brodeur and John Matatal will have to wait 
pending a medical assessment of 2008 pair champion Annabelle Longlois. If they, if Annabelle Longlois and Cody Hay are well enough to compete, they may be headed to Four Continents or the World Championships. If not, new bronze medalists Mylène Brodeur and John Matatal will be. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2009 paramedalists for the BMO Canadian Figure Skating Championship. All skaters on the top level for final shots. And then they'll take a victory lap. Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison in the center. On the left, Megan Duhamel and Craig Bunton. And on the right, Mylène Brodeur and John Matatal. Top two teams heading to four continents and worlds for sure. ISU Four Continents Championships taking place February 2nd to 8th in Vancouver, British Columbia, the test event for the Olympic Games. And we will have all the action live on Bold and cbcsports.ca. Skaters, take your victory lap, please. Ladies and gentlemen, our next ceremony will be to honor our women's medalists. Before we get right to the medals, I'm not sure if many of you are aware of a very famous skating name, Otto Gold. Does that mean anything to you? Otto Gold was Barbara Ann Scott's coach. He was famous for teaching figures. His family, since his death some years ago, have donated what they have called the Auto Gold Pin, 
which was originally for the winners in both men and women's competition at nationals for the winner of the figures event. Now we have no figures, so the family has kindly decided to let us honor the winners of the short program with the auto gold pin. Maybe I present the winner of the women's short program, Cynthia Fanouf. Presenting the award, our president, Benoit Lavoie. Cynthia Feneuf painted a beautiful picture in her short program. Thank you, Cynthia. Congratulations. And now, on to our medal presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2009 BMO Canadian Figure Skating Women's Champion representing Quebec and winning her fifth title, Joanne Rochette. This is the women's medal ceremony, five-time Canadian champion, Joanne Rochette. Cynthia Feneuf. Cynthia Feneuf. Former Canadian champion from 2004. Struggled with injuries. Silver medalist for the and second the straight year. And the winner of the bronze medal, also from Quebec, Emily Lacoste. Bronze medalist Emily Lacoste showed such, such poise under pressure. Presenting the medals tonight, the Minister of State for Sport, the Honourable Gary Lund assisted by past president of Skate Canada and honorary president, Betty Buma. Flowers to be presented by Harold Halleck, market manager, BMO Harris Private Banking, with Benoit offering congratulations. Canada is allowed to send two women to the World Championships. World champion, uh, world team has been named here at Canadians. Going to Worlds are Canadian champion Joanne Rochette and silver medalist Cynthia Faneuf. Canada is also entitled to send three entries to the upcoming ISU Four Continents Championships in Vancouver next month. Canada will be sending Joanne Rochette, Cynthia Faneuf, and Canadian bronze medalist for the first time, Amélie Lacoste. What was interesting about this competition, Joanie came in as the huge favorite, faltered slightly in the short, was in second place, but really poured it on in the free. Beautiful performance, absolutely outstanding to take the gold. Cynthia Feneff was dazzling in the short, made a few mistakes in the long, still comes out with a wonderful silver There note. they are, top three women in Canada.
don't forget, after the medal ceremonies, we still will continue with our live coverage here on Bold and cbcsports.ca with the exhibition gala. Ladies and gentlemen, our ladies medalists. Just to give you a little bit of a preview, we will have all of our medalists performing in the exhibition gala. So you're not going to want to miss it. Two-time champions, 2009 Canadian figure skating champions in dance, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. This is their return to competition. They were wonderful to this whole weekend. Two-time Canadian dance champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Tessa and Scott representing Western Ontario. Winning the silver medal from Central Ontario, Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier. These silver medalists you may remember from Home Sense Skate Canada, where they were also silver medalists. He's 17, she's 18. Very promising future ahead of them. Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier. And winners of the bronze medal, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget, representing Northern Ontario. Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Started off this competition. Presenting the medals. I'd like to welcome back Minister Lung and Hall of Famer Franny Dippo. Also welcome back to Ken Segbor from BMO Bank of Montreal and Benoit Lavoie. Ice dance competition here was absolutely spectacular. Champions Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer came out of the gate running, never looked back, led all three segments of the competition. Silver medalist Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier second all three phases of the competition caitlin weaver and andrew poget climbed from fifth place in the compulsory dance to end up on the podium with the bronze medal now on the international scene canada is allowed to send two dance entries to the world championships those entries have been named here and they will be tessa virtue and scott moyer and vanessa crone and paul poirier 
Canada will be sending three entries to the ICU Four Continents Championships. And they will be Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier, and Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Congratulations to our 2009 Dance Medals. All three teams very young. speaks to the great potential for the future in ice dance for Canada. One more set of pictures, and then it's time for their victory lap. More front page material. Our dance medalists for the 2009 Bimo Canadian Figure Skating Championships. that we missed this afternoon. Do you remember the HomeSense Personal Best Awards? There has been one award in the men's competition, and it goes to a skater from Quebec who increased his score by 31.41 points, Jan Martinez.
presenting the award, please welcome Bev Gavin, Saskatoon Winners Merchants International Store Manager. Congratulations. Thank you. And just like in the women's competition, the Auto Gold family has also awarded the Auto Gold pin for the winner of the men's short program. You know who that was. Patrick Chan. Benoit will be presenting the Auto Gold pin. And now, into the medals, ladies and gentlemen, the defending successfully 2009 Canadian men's champion representing Central Ontario, the one, the only, Patrick Chen. the short and the free program. Unbelievably dazzling. Canadian men's champion, Patrick Chan. In second place, winner of the silver medal, representing Alberta, Northwest Terrace, Nunavut, Vaughn Shapiro. Chipier, the silver medalist. And in third place, winner of the bronze medal from BC Yukon, Jeremy Ten. First time on the national podium for Jeremy Tan and Von Chipier. Both men really earning their spots. Presenting the medals, the Honorable Gary Lan, assisted by Skate Canada, Honorary President Betty Buma. Harold Hallett, Market Manager of BMO Harris Private Banking, will present flowers along with Kieran Kilduff, Vice President, Branch Manager and Investment Advisor for BMO Nesbitt Burns. Quality in the men's event was absolutely outstanding. Patrick Chan's short program was of such a high caliber and almost can't be described. He had a 17-point lead going into the free program. And even with one small mistake on his triple flip, as he says, the rest of the program, superbly constructed, beautifully skated. Von Chipier continued to make strides in terms of presentation and choreography. Jeremy Ten, fresh face, wonderfully expressive skater, this year's bronze medalist. There they are, your men's champions of Canada for 2009.
I haven't mentioned the world or ICU Four Continents team assignments yet, because to my knowledge, they have not yet been made. But we do have three men entitled to go to the World Championships, as well as the ISU Four Continents Championships. Gentlemen, take your victory lap. Stay tuned, everybody. We have lots more great skating live with the gala on Bold and on cbcsports.ca after this short break. You're not going to want to miss a minute from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Stay tuned.